everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you two of my best tips for tomorrow's racing. Now before we get stuck into that I quickly just want to apologise for not doing a video on today's racing. That was because unfortunately last night I got held up in traffic coming back from my shift at Sky Sports Racing. I didn't get into quite late in the end and by the time I had dinner um, I just didn't have time to record so apologies for that. I did put it up on my Twitter feed saying that I wouldn't be able to upload a video and if you ever wonder if you're ever wondering why I'm not posting make sure you follow me on Twitter because I always leave an explanation on there to why I'm not uploading a video on my YouTube channel from when on the rare occasions I don't post so yeah make sure you follow me on Twitter there's a link to my handle in the description box below but it is at Lucky Loader 15 so make sure you follow me over there on social media also as well if you want to check out uh, the Hong Kong uh, in the saddle preview um, there's a link to it in the description box below unfortunately again because I've been working at Sky Sports Racing this week I wasn't able to join the gang for the Happy Valley preview but if you want to find out their tips make sure you hit the link in the description box below and that will take you to Shireen Wu's YouTube channel but I did give the guys my nap so if you want to know what it is Again, like I said, just hit that link in the description box below. So, yeah, enough of all the promotional stuff and the excuses. Let's get straight into it then. Two tips for tomorrow's racing. I'm actually going to be going with some big price selections tomorrow. Just two tips. I didn't fancy too much, but I thought these horses could go fairly well. And we're going to be going to Lingfield for my first tip tomorrow in the 115. And this is where my next best is going to be coming in. And the horse that I'm going to be putting up here is a horse called In The Jeans. You can currently back this horse at 16 to 1 with Bet365. I know there's only two places on offer because there's seven runners in the race. But I still do think this horse has a good chance. And I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection here as my uh, next best of the day. Now this horse is trained by Ed Dunlop and Holly Doyle is booked for the ride. doing a nice low race and weight of 8 stone 2. Now this horse... I thought it was quite eye-catching last time out when uh, finishing sixth at Lingfield. Now that was its best run to date, had shown absolutely nothing uh, in novice company, but when it made its handicap debut last time out, I thought it was an encouraging run. Now, yes, it didn't beat many home, but if you actually look what's come out of that race, uh, the winner, Classy Dame, went on to score again for Robert Eddery, and also as well, James Fanshawe's horse that finished third in that race, She's gone and won a race and a couple of the others as well have come out and placed in other races. So it looked quite a particularly nice race for the grade. And I think you can mark up that form. That was over 10 furlongs that day. She steps up and trip this tomorrow, tomorrow this filly, to a mile and a half. And I think that will really suit her as well. She is by Ifrage, but if you look at the dam side of the pedigree, Plenty of Stairs is actually a half-sister to Whirling Dervish, who's been a good multi-purpose horse for Jessica Harrington, has a flat racing of 92 so you think going up in trip tomorrow based on the pedigree at least will hopefully live up to the name of this horse in the jeans you like to uh, think that um this really will appreciate going up in trip and i just think there's a lot to like about uh this horse's chances tomorrow off a rock bottom weight also as well the race might set up quite nicely mark johnson's got a couple of horses in here that like to go forward and there's one or two others as well so if they do go hard early or if it does set up for the closers tomorrow i just think in the jeans at 16 to 1 isn't the worst 16 to 1 shot I've ever put up. And I think at uh, a price there, I think she'll give us a good run for our money. And I wouldn't be at all surprised uh, to see her go very close and maybe come with a late run under Holly Doyle. So that's going to be uh, my next best of the day in the jeans in the 115, the first race there at Lingfield. We then go to my nap, which runs in the 415 at Catterick, where I'm going to be putting up a horse here called Cooking Fat for champion jockey Brian Hughes, and he's riding for Pauline Robson. Now, at the current time of recording, you can back this horse at 9-1, to one, and I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection here. Now, this horse had a little bit of a break. We hadn't seen him for quite a while. I think he had one or two issues, but I thought his run last time out on his uh, seasonal reappearance at Doncaster was actually quite encouraging. Like I said, it was his first run uh, for quite a while, but he shaped with promise that day, but just blew up and bad needed it but he wasn't disgraced and that was arguably in a better race than he's going to be running at Catterick tomorrow that was in a class three handicap won by Flem Cara and there were some useful sorts in that so I think it was uh, not a bad performance at all by Cooking Fat and they've given him enough time to get over that run so the bounce factor shouldn't be an issue with this horse now if you look at the race as a whole tomorrow there's quite a lot of horses in here that haven't proven themselves 
at the trip at all. And cooking fat has, we know that he is the thoroughest there and he's got a terrific record at Catterick. He's two from two there, so he's won on both his starts there. So returning here will definitely uh, be a positive for him. Also as well, there's going to be a bit of rain around tomorrow at Catterick and well, quite a lot of rain. And again, even though it's probably not his ideal ground, bottomless ground, he can handle soft ground okay. And a lot of the horses, again, in this race, don't handle testing conditions. I just think that a lot of the, the unexposed types might find this a little bit difficult and a hardened horse like cooking fat might just be able to use the experience in the nature of this race. Also as well, he's quite well handicapped on his hurdle form. He had been going over fences uh, in quite a lot of his recent starts during his career. But if you go back through his hurdle form, he actually won um, over the course at uh, at Catterick off a mark of 125, and he's now seven pounds lower for that run. So I just think dropping in class tomorrow, a pretty weak contest for the grade. We know he stays. He'll be able to handle the conditions better than others, and I think he'll come forward for that run. I just thought nine to one about this horse was a huge price, and that's why I'm going to be putting it up as my lap tomorrow. Just going to recommend a 0.5 each way bet, but there are uh, eight runners in the race, so we can get three places. And I'll be disappointed really if this horse couldn't finish in the first three I think definitely it's experience is going to come to the play here and I just think it might be able to outstay all of these so that's why cooking fat is going to be my nap in the 4.15 at Catterick so quickly then just recap the two tips for tomorrow the next best of the day runs in the 1.15 at Lingfield in the jeans 16 to 1 0.5 each way selection there and then in the 4.15 at Catterick cooking fat is the nap of the day 0.5 each way selection there um, at uh, the Yorkshire venue so that's all I've got to say uh, for the tips for tomorrow's race and if you're enjoying these videos please remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe here to my YouTube channel at Lucky Loaders 15 also as well if you want to follow me on Twitter like I said at the top of the video make sure you follow me there where my handle is at Lucky Loader 15 it's the best place and the only place really to follow me on social media so make sure you do that if you haven't done so already and also as well if you want to find out a bit about myself my website address is www.chrisloaderracing.co.uk so please Please come responsibly, hopefully we can have some winners tomorrow and we'll be seeing you soon.